Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks, and today I want to show you a new feature, new a couple months ago at least, of how you can set up a domain and have the domain go to an individual uh, an individual funnel uh, inside of your account. It used to be that all of your domains that you set up, or technically subdomains that you set up, would all end up going to the site homepage. Well, a few months ago, ClickFunnels changed that so you can set a domain or a subdomain to be uh, to be accurate, a subdomain to redirect to a funnel itself. Well, what I'm going to show you in this video is not how to set up your domain necessarily or how to connect it to Cloudflare. I'm going to show you how you can have somebody just take the root domain or in many cases a um, broken, we'll call it for now, you'll see here in a minute what I mean by that, a broken version of that subdomain and still be able to get to the funnel itself. So let me show you uh, first off what I mean and what you're going to get as a result of this. So we're going to come into this funnel that we're going to use right here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come up and we're going to copy this URL. Now, I made some changes to this already, and we'll come back and look at that in a minute. But I want to show you the result of this because we're going to copy that URL, open up an incognito window. I'm going to hit enter. And now we are going to go to the first page in this funnel. The reason we want to use this link up here and not the first link in the funnel here is because you may have a split test up here at the top. So you bring somebody in the very, very top of the funnel, they come down, they do a split test at this point, and then you can uh, split both sides of your funnel out. So that's why you want to do it like this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this same... Uh, domain that we have. I'm sorry, technically it's a URL, and we're going to start messing around with it. So let's say you give somebody funnelcodesecrets.com, and they think, well, I got to put a triple W in front of it. So we do that, boom, worked just fine. Or they come in and they say, well, uh, they want the HTTPS for some reason, but they don't put in the triple W, and boom, worked just fine. And we're going to do this again. And this time, let's take everything off the front end here. And we'll hit enter. And again, we're going to get there. And one last thing I will show you is if they put in HTTP, uh, HTTP instead of HTTPS, it will also get you there. Okay? Now you might say to yourself, oh, okay, great. It still has to land on a page. When it lands on a page, it is going to have the path at the end, like you see here, variation. So let me show you what this is also going to do. We're going to come down to this page right here. We are going to grab a hold of that link. And I'm going to come up here, open up another new tab, and we will drop that in, and we will hit enter. See, it did not mess with it at all. And as long as we keep that path on the end so it knows which page to go to, we can come in here, and we can take this off, and it will continue to work just fine. And again, all the variations I already showed you. But also, one thing I did not show you is somebody could come in here and really mess this up, and they could put in the wrong subdomain in the beginning here. Make sure you have a period in between because if they don't put in the period, it's a domain, not a subdomain. So we do that. And again, it still worked perfectly. Same thing with this version up here. We will take that off. We will put in the wrong subdomain at the beginning. We will take the path off the end because again, we're giving them just the root domain. And again, brought us back to where we expected, which was the variation page. So let me show you how to do that. And you're asking yourself, why would you do that? Well, you're working pretty hard to get people to come to your site. So if you're going to trust them with the URL, just imagine they're going to mess it up some way or another. People type this stuff in wrong. And so because of that, as long as they get at least the domain part right in the middle, they will always land on this page here. And if they get the domain part right and the um, the path at the end of it as well. They will also end up where you want them to go. So as far as setting up the domain, like I said, we're not going to show how to set it up here. You're going to set it up like you normally would set up a domain and run it through Cloudflare. And so when you're done, you're going to have all six of your records here put in and you're going to have three check marks. That means your marketing is going to be working, all of that as well. And then I will show you what it looks like inside of Cloudflare in a minute. 
And then the other thing you want to do in here is when you get started, you're going to come in here to your settings. And what you're going to see initially is there's going to be some sort of a path here at the end. So let me update that funnel. And you're going to see at the very top of the page now it added that path back on. But in order to get this to work, you got to go in and do two things in the settings. So this is how it would look like when you first come in before you start doing anything with it. You're going to want to do two things. One is you're going to want to set the, I guess I got to click over here. Oops. Uh, you got to set the, uh, you got to set the subdomain that you want to use for this funnel. And so we were working with here, www.funnelcodesecrets.com. So that's the one we are going to select. But also notice here, there is a default domain. And this is the default domain. In this case here is my ClickFunnels subdomain. This is the one that is attached to your site home page. It'll always say default on it. So if I had set my hub.zerocourse.com to the site homepage, this one would say default next to it. And where you said that is not there and there and where the heck did I put it? Here it is. So this comes over here. You do your overview. Let me pop back out of here for a second and move myself over. There we go. Uh, come on work for me. And so you come in here to your site overview, you click on your three dots, you go to your site settings. And then in your site settings, this is where you set your domain. And this is what causes it to say default right in here. When we do this drop down, that causes that to say default. So you got to set your domain there. So that means you're going to need at least one additional domain to your, uh, your ClickFunnels subdomain that you get when you uh, first sign up for ClickFunnels. But in most cases here, you're also going to have a custom domain pointing to your site homepage. So you're going to need two custom domains in order to do this. And so then we can just take out this path. That's the most important part. That is the part that I was missing. And that was the part that Adam Bogue showed me that I was missing that got this finally to get working. So now we have this all set up inside of ClickFunnels. Now we're going to go over to Cloudflare. And again, this isn't about setting up Cloudflare. Uh, but what we're going to do is because we needed those six records. So here are the six records right here. So five at the bottom, one at the top, sorts them alphabetically. That's why they're in this order. But we're going to put in two more records. And the first record is we are going to take the root domain and we are going to point it at ClickFunnels. So this is the this is the address here for ClickFunnels. You're going to see it's done here on our triple W because that's our subdomain. But then we're going to point the root domain at ClickFunnels as well. And this is the trick that gets it to even go there if somebody screws up and types in the wrong subdomain. You put an asterisk in here and you also point that to ClickFunnels as well well. And so I'll just show you really quickly how to set the one up. Here you go. Click on that. In this case here, we're going to put in our asterisk and the asterisk says put in the root domain. So it'd be the equivalent of me copying this here and pasting it into that blank right there. Then I come down here. I copy this out, copy that, pop that in there hit that button to turn off the proxy, and then I would hit save, but we don't need it, so I will just cancel it. Now, there's one more step, and <clears throat> again, this is one of those that you figure this out by just playing around with this thing long enough, is you got to set two page rules. So you're going to come over here to the side, click on rules. If you want the DNS, again, you can come back up here and click on DNS, but we're going to come down here to rules, and we're going to come down to our page rules, and we're going to set up two page rules. And so let me just blow this up so we can see it. So we're going to take just our root domain with a slash and an asterisk at the end. We're going to do a forwarding URL, 301 permanent redirect, and we're going to say send it to our domain. So our whole HTTPS www.funnelcoastseekers.com slash dollar sign one. And the dollar sign one means whatever path happened to be at the end. So the ones over here with our progress bar, we had this path at the end. Well, we put that in when we when we did this. So again, we let's take all this off right there. Now that's going to look like what we have right here. And so, but it's got the path at the end. So it's going to take this path. It's going to append it to the end here, and then it will um, 
take them, redirect them to the page. And as I'm showing you this, make sure you have these two in these positions because the positions matter. It comes from the top down. It will only trigger one of these page rules. So if it comes down, hits this one here, it says, okay, this page rule matches, boom, I'm going to run it. If this one doesn't, checks the second one. Does this page rule match? Yes, I'm going to run it, okay? So then the other one here, this is where it gets a little bit more tricky and why we needed the asterisks on the DNS page and why we're able to have them really mess things up and still get us where we want them to be. And so we got here an asterisk in the front of this here. Let me grab a real quick drink of water. So we got an asterisk in the front and then a period and then funnelcodesecrets.com. So if they put anything in there in the beginning as long as they still, you know, they're putting in some sort of a path, in this case, it'll work. But you also saw in here, we came in and we completely wiped everything out. And why does that work? Is because the other, the, um, the first page rule picks that up. And also... Um, it would pick it up if we only had an HTTPS with no subdomain in there at all. And that actually is more of a function, some other settings that you set in Cloudflare. But again, that's for the how to set up Cloudflare uh, video, not this one here. So we have asterisk, period, funnelcodesecrets.com slash asterisk. And then we have HTTPS, colon slash slash, funnelcodesecrets.com. Now notice there is no triple W in here. There is no subdomain in here. And we have dollar sign two, which says grab whatever is at the second asterisk in the first line and put it down here at the bottom. So that's it. We will save that and we're done. I already showed you what it looks like in the end, how cool it is. And um, so everything you can do in here, you're going to make sure you get all of your traffic that you have paid for. Or as you're talking to somebody on a webinar or something, you go, hey, go to funnelcodesecrets.com. And pretty much they can screw it up really bad and still get them there. In fact, let me test one last thing. Okay, the one thing I hadn't tested, and I didn't think this was going to work, is so let's say somebody gets in their funnelcodesecrets.com, but then they screw up the path. You gave them a path, they screwed it up, and so because of that, what you're going to do is you're going to get an error. I'll just tell you that right now. I don't even have to show you you're going to get an error. You're going to get an error. Um, it's going to send you a 404 error page or something else, show you know, what it goes to. In fact, it actually, for me, it goes to an old URL that I used to have that I don't even know where that is anymore because it's not in my GoDaddy account and it's not in my Cloudflare account. So I don't understand that. But just be aware of that. So again, best practice would be just to give people, whenever possible, just give them the root domain right there. And that's why we did this for the most part, is just give them a root domain. If they mess up the part in front of it, for the most part, it'll still get them there. Or, of course, they will get an error. But it will definitely help you get to people where you want to go. So that is it. If you got any questions, just let me know.